Thank you very much for being with us today, your 11. I am Saira. And I am Laura. It's a pleasure to be here again. Well, gender violence is a social problem that affects women all over the world. It's essential that governments have strategies to solve this problem. Aware of the needs, the Instituto of Evaluation of Public Policies of the State of Durango held a meeting training capacity to deal with gender violence. So this initiative will seek to work with the government and more effective solutions to combat this problem. Hello, have a good day everyone. We are the week deputy Valerian. To ask a few questions, what do you think about joining forces to combat and the general events in Durango? Hi Mario, good evening everyone. Wow, I'm very happy to join forces with with important signs, it will help to avoid the situation from occurring. There should be congress campaigns on the subject from progressive values and education from home and this prototype. Oh, and it's very important your opinion in this moment is very important. And the next question is how can you help to reduce the case of gender violence? I will look for a way to give lectures with the help of experts on the subject. Have you been involved in any case of gender violence? Thinking back, I think enough. Oh, wow, it's really good. What would you say to people who have suffered this type of violence? The message that I want to give for all those who have experienced this unfortunate situation is that they should not remain silent, for mercy and raise their voice in only that the authorities take action to the matter. I would like to share this information to that in Durango. It is uh, estimated that seven of ten women from Durango have suffered some, uh, some type of violence in the course of their lives. Who are living in this situation had seven, seven, six, four, five, six, eight, so that's your case can be well. Thanks, Mario. Good news for everyone. We hope to have a good result. And our favorite section, which is the world of entertainment, we have our friends ahead. But tell us ahead, what relevant topic do you bring to us today? This love story has come to a close. Taylor Swift and Joe Alwyn have called it quits after six years of dating, according to multiple reports. E! News has reached out to the reps about the split, but has not yet heard back. While no one knows for sure the first time that the ultra-private couple met, Swifties believe she may have left a hint in the song Dress off her 2017 album Reputation. In it, she sings, quote, Flashback when you met me, your buzz cut and my hair bleached. Thanks, Aida, for that beautiful presentation. We have, for the first time, the breakup of the singer Taylor Swift with the British actor Joe Alwyn. They have been in a relationship for more than six years, and according to gossip, he ended up cheating on her with an actress with whom he works. Days after ending their relationship, the singer released her new song, You're Losing Me, where she apparently expresses the uncertainty of knowing if he still loves her or not. We hope this break gives us more albums from the singer. We return with you, Saira. Thank you very much, Sahid. This break in the music industry is very unfortunate. Now let's change the subject because we remember that three years ago a new coronavirus began to spread from Asia to the rest of the world. 
The first cases of the virus were first detected in Chinese in December 2018. The WHO declared a public health emergency of international concert, national concert on January 30, 2020, and it was declared a pandemic on March 11, 2020. This May 5, it was reported that this definition of national emergency no longer fits, but this doesn't mean that the pandemic is over but the rather the global emergency that it has caused for now. As the first hand information with my partners did, we're going with you. Thanks, Aida. As you know, the COVID-19 pandemic was a global outbreak of coronavirus, an infectious disease caused by the severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2. Currently, after more than three years in the pandemic, the CEO accepted the recommendations of the WHO, a review committee will establish some recommendations that will be permanent for countries that will help us manage COVID-19 in an effective way. As of May 19, 2023, approximately 6.9 million deaths from COVID-19 have been recorded, with the United States leading the least countries with the most deaths with 1.2 million deaths. Now, back to you, Saida. It's unfortunate as the losses that we had this pandemic. Thank you very much for the report, Sahib. Now, let's go with Valeria, who will tell us about this news in Sporting Record. This is Sports Center. Welcome to Police Den. The topic today is Ovidio Guzman, son of Chapo Guzman, is captured in operation in Sinaloa. Hello everyone, thank you for very much Laura. We continue to the news about Ovidio Guzman. We will about to topic that introduced use of to the Culiacanazo that happened in years ago and that was failing and tap to government to capture the famous drug lord. The capture of the some of the famous traffickers Joaquin Guzman Loera, alias El Chapo, was captured on the staff of Jesus Maria. When he was captured, well, he was sleeping at home with his family. After days there of being captured a sector of users on sexual networks was circling an image where he page the prison we where he was his stunt apparent the release which caused controversy and it was not take more than 30 minutes to report that 
the page has not not yet was up to date what this i say goodbye that was all thank you every word well this has been the news today thank you all thank you laura thanks to you and everyone it was a pleasure to be here again see you tomorrow